Welcome back. My name's Chris. And I'm Misty. This is Storm Games. Welcome back to another Storm Games unboxing. Today we got our arcade block Yay. for May. May. Yeah, it's June. The second. <laughs> <laughs> um, the comic block block will be here tomorrow. Yeah, for May. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, arcade or nerd block has just been. They get the nerd blocks out in plenty of time, but the the arcade block, the Even horror the block, regular the regular nerd block is getting out later. Yeah, but I mean, but if you order arcade horror or uh, mm -hmm. the new comic block, man, you don't get it until the beginning of the next month usually. It's been that way for the past what three or four months. Yeah. Um, it's a good box. I enjoy the boxes. I just, it's, you know, you expect, you, you plan to do them for a certain month and then you end up doing them in the next month. They did send out a nice letter to everybody letting them know because they switched to a new shipping process. Stuff um, it, it's taking a little while to get it out and get the emails out. Yeah. Well, I think I gotta do a t shirt first because it's like up top. I can't find it. Metroid is the next month. Oh, that's weird. Is it cool? It's that is creature selection. I know this game. Oh, wait. No, I don't know this game. There's because the, there's a that's a chocobo. Yeah, that's the only one I recognize. I know this one too. This is interesting. You're gonna have a dumb moment. Because they're yeah, that's a That's the treasure chest from Zelda. Wow. Right? Yeah, it's got okay. like they're different characters from different games. I'm just drawing a blank on most of them, it looks like. I'm it'll come to me later for sure. I don't know a lot of these. I like it though. Nice gaming t-shirt. <laughs> I don't know what the name of the t-shirt is, though. They usually have names. Metroid too. is coming in their June box. Well, I caught a peek. One of the other items <clears> I'm <throat> kind of disappointed because I just tracked him down. Don't be joking. Oh, no. It wasn't the one I thought it was. Okay. Is it Cartman? It's Cartman. <laughs> Why, just somebody get butters? This is good though because maybe somebody else out there with an arcade block actually got Kyle and I need Kyle. We need Kyle. We need Kyle. We have all the others except for Kyle. So if you if you want Cartman and you need Kyle or you have Kyle, I'd be more than happy to trade you. Or if you have Kyle and you don't care about all the others, you want Cartman? Yeah. I I need Kyle and I have Cartman. So if anybody out there got an arcade block wants to trade me, I'd be more than happy. I'm not going to take him out of the box because I already have one. But yeah. We got it in... Because I'm sure somebody out there can trade me. We got it in enough box. Oh, there's another box. What is this? I get to open it. Okay. Shot glass. Glass. It's a candle jar. Oh, look, it's got the Zelda hearts on it. Cute. I'm sure you can put that to you somewhere. Is this is a hat. Yeah. It's a hat. Foxhound. It's one of the milis it's a military style hat. Those are nice. Foxhound, I know that. Is that Metal Gear? Well they said Metal Gear Solid would be in here, so. Is that the Metal Gear item though? No, Metal Gear's... I don't know. Leave a comment below if you know where that's from. We'll probably figure it out by the end of the video, because the thing usually tells us. Magnet. Says... Kick Punch. Don't know what that is. I think it's a magnet. Looks like a magnet. Yeah. One way to find out. <laughs> it says Kick Punch on it. Pretty cool. Oh, 
this feels like a reaction figure. No? <laughs> Blue shell on board. This is a this is obviously a play That's on cute. um Mario Kart. Blue shell on board. That's adorable. That is cute. I'll put it on my car. Okay. It doesn't go with your zombie theme. Right? No, it doesn't. My truck's got a whole zombie thing that I don't get zombie stuff. Okay, well there's this cheat card. I think that's it. Yep, that's it. Oh, no, no second card? No, no question card this time. I no card, it up. no book. Okay. Yeah, we were told we were going to get books and every one of them. This card. is kind of... Wow. Yeah. I don't know. I'd have been a little bit more excited if I'd have got the Kyle, but... South Park Stick of Truth figure from the hilarious role-playing game based on the equally hilarious animated series. This feature brings the enjoyment from the digital realm to the physical one. It is a hilarious game, by the way. Uh, wherever you go and whatever misadventures you get up to, having this character in your party is an absolute must. Well, I, I do recommend, park. as a gamer, I do recommend if you like South Park, if you like to watch the show, you're go uh, the game South Park Stick of Truth is a must play. It is a yeah. hilarious game, and it is fun as heck to play. It's the arcade block product. Of She's the played through it almost two times. Almost two times. And I've I've played through it once, and I, I'm wanting to play through it again. I might get it for Xbox just so I can play through it on Xbox. Yeah. Um, the shirt is from Shirt Punch, which Nerdblock does all their shirts through. They're really nice. They're really durable. Um, they don't really shrink at all. And best yet, they go up to, they, I think Shirt Punch goes up to like 5X. Something like that. Um, we, I get a 4X because the 3Xs, I'm a 3X, but the, they tend to shrink a little bit. And I like shirts with a little bit of room in them. These, this yeah, this is actually a shirt, a 4X shirt punch shirt so um but yeah if you go to shirt punch uh, they're one of the few sites where you can get geek shirts at the bigger sizes so uh, if you're looking for geek shirts at bigger sizes shirt punch is definitely the way they go yeah we got the fantasy fighter what if you could pit the monsters and creatures from the final fantasy universe against one another that's from Final Fantasy. Oh, so they're all from Final Fantasies. Okay, yeah. that, that makes sense. Yeah. Um, I knew I recognized most of them. I just... That's the concept behind the exclusive Shirt Punch t-shirt only for Arcade Block subscribers. There you go. Um, check out more at shirtpunch.com. They have a lot of really great t-shirts. A lot of them... You can find um, discount codes for them everywhere. Let us know if you want one. We can give you a couple from our past um, t-shirts because we, we don't use them. We don't. Yeah, they usually much. have. On the tag, yeah. On the tag. Well, it's a specific code, really. Yeah, this this one is actually called Beast. The promo code is Beast Shirts. All one word. And you save you 10%. Yeah. Each month, uh, they'll send out one on the, the t-shirt to save 10%. percent we got a tag on it says... Only for subscribers. <laughs> the apothecary jar, um, special forces military cap, which is um, metal gear solid, by the way. Kick punch, wood magnet. Is it a wooden? Yeah, that's why it's okay. so thick. The kick punch. This. All, it's all in the mind. If you have a memo, I'm sure you'll find this wood magnet. It is sure to hold it to a refrigerator where you can show it. Then blue shell onboard sign. Driving can be a challenge in games we get power-ups to help us along the way and stay ahead of the pack, but in real life, not so much. Let other drivers know they should be behave around you with this snazzy sign. <laughs> Blue <laughs> shell on board. <laughs> Anybody who plays Mario Kart gets that reference. <laughs> so, uh... Um, speaking of Mario Kart... I don't know. I enjoyed it. I think it was a good box. I I would have preferred to got the one I didn't get, which the odds are one of I've five. Like, Holy girl. Oh, it really would have, yeah. because it would have completed my set of the characters. But yeah. 
Uh, I'm sure somebody out there with an arcade block, and I'll be watching the videos closely to find out who gets one. <laughs> But somebody out there got a Kyle, I'm sure, and I'm gonna be pouncing on you when I find when I find your video. <laughs> yeah, Kyle, um, we've been searching for him. We just got butters. Yeah. Yeah, I thought that was a butters <laughs> in the box. I peeked in there and I seen it and I thought it was butters and I was like, oh, I just bought butters. And well, it took me like two weeks to track him down yeah. after deciding to and look for him. You can't tell because of the box size because we're all in the same box. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, leave a comment below. Let us know what you think of the this. Is, did they say this was the Metal Gear Isle? Yes. Okay. I That's said it I too. I thought so. Um, but, yeah, leave us a comment. Let us know what you think of the items. It's a um, solid item for your video game collection. There you go. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, stay tuned. We should have comic block. The very tomorrow. first comic block yes. coming up tomorrow. Fingers crossed it'll be here know, tomorrow. We don't know what to expect. No idea. We're trying to avoid any spoilers, so yeah. complete surprise. Yeah. Be a very first, the, the very first comic block, and obviously yeah. our very first comic block. And that will wrap up May's blocks. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Boxes, just in general. We have quite a few coming up next month. For June. For June. Including the Marvel box. Oh, yeah. The, uh... Comic-Con uh, box. The Comic-Con box. The that second, was good That'll last, be the second that one. That was good last time. Yeah. And so we're just going to continue to see what, if they can improve on it, what they put in each of them. But, yeah, they're doing a pretty good job of that. Mm -hmm. And a few others. I think we got a, uh, cool new box? No. No? My Geeky Goodies. My Geeky Goodies. We are, they are, they're sold out, um, but we did get one of their last ones. This will not be their final box, but just last until the fall, because they're kind of taking a break over the summer to kind of revamp and redo everything, so I'll be, that's one of our Which favorites. will be a big, I think will be a big issue, because My Geeky Goodies has always been a good box. Yeah. And if they're revamping it. It could, I think it could only be good for the, be for the best. Yeah. Hopefully. Hopefully they're not changing to a format like everybody else that seems to be going downhill. Um, Pop Fun Box. We're not getting that, but they are discontinuing the subscription box altogether. <laughs> Which, they've been really good. We have not had a chance to get any of their stuff, but um, we're sad to see that one go. Um, Collectible Geek. <laughs> Sorry. Um, we are getting Collectible Geek. They are open for July. What is the theme? Oh my gosh. I just went bananas over it. I don't remember. Superman. Batman. No, that one's cool new box for July. Oh. That one's open as well. You, if you like Superman, Bat, Superman versus Batman, you want to go to that one and get that immediately. The it's, logo is actually the logo from the new movies, so there may even be a movie item, a movie related item in there. That would be cool. Yeah. Um, all, all the boxes, all the pop boxes from Cool New Box and Collectible Geek, they both put pop protectors on them. You don't have to keep There's that pop in plus. them. You can switch it to... Which we usually do. Yeah. Unless the one we get is an exclusive, then we leave it in there. But For uh, Collectible Geek, go to our Facebook page. We have a link that will save you 3% on your order. Might not seem like much, but that... At the very least, yeah. will help with tax. <laughs> I don't think there's tax. Maybe. I don't know. For some people, there aren't. If you excuse me, if you get larger T-shirt items, it'll definitely pay for that. Yeah, extra two three dollars for the shirt. But yeah, my recommendations for July's boxes: Collectible Geek and Kuma Box. They're selling out quickly, so you'll want to jump on it. Yeah. And keep an keep an eye out for that F box too. That mysterious F box. Oh my it, gosh! It came quite at a bit of surprise Very last early. month. So, uh, who knows when it could, it could literally yeah. be any time. It, it could drop any, at it any could drop moment. To, it could <laughs> drop today for all we know. We don't know. So, keep a, uh, keep an eye out. Uh, it's just following their Twitter. 
uh, Fugitive Police Twitter. Yes, follow their their Twitter um, because they will. That's announce. the quickest way you'll know. Uh, we usually announce it as soon as we find out, but usually by the time people get that message, it's yeah. too late. So because it sells out with a couple minutes. Yeah, but it they've sells. been adding more and more boxes, yeah. but still, a lot of people are, you know, finding out about this and really wanting it. Um, but yeah, it's just it's insane. always well worth the the price paid for it. So. Yeah. Especially if you're a pop collector. There's usually two or three pops. Yeah, Sometimes we've, we've four. gotten uh, exclusives, 7-Eleven yeah. exclusives, the yeah. Grey Wind, the Carl. Yeah. It's, yeah. So, yep. Kind of went on, okay. Yeah, I'm kind of rolling on here, but uh, yeah, we'll see, hopefully tomorrow we'll see you with the comic block. The very first one of those. And thanks for watching. See you later.